Okay, I am going to climb up here, but I doubt it's going to do us any good because this is probably one of the most unfortunate placed hunting stands in the entire map. Yeah. Like, I don't know who thought about constructing this here. There are no animals eating on this a hill. And the other three sides are covered by forest. So I'm not quite sure what was the purpose of this one. Alright, let's try to be a bit more cautious this time. So that in case we do have big horn sheep over there, we won't be spooking them. the drone to scout ahead a bit. Yeah, no, I don't see anything here. And like I said, bighorn sheep unfortunately do not call as often as elk or deer, so... We can't use that to find them. There is definitely a zone here. But no sheep as far as I can see. Resting, rarely. Okay. I was not looking for a resting zone. I was looking for a feeding zone. Maybe a little bit further. But wait, if I know where the resting zone is, I can get the feeding zone by comparison. Let me check where is... It's this one. So about this way. Oh! Oh my! We might actually have some sheep. I think we got them. Of course, now the question is how exactly do we actually manage to canvas them? That's going to be the really tricky part. Because there's a lot of trees between us and these sheep. And we're already up to a hundred meters. Where are you? Oh, dead air. Okay. So, it would be a little bit easier if we approached them from the south. No, not the south, from the east. I still think we're probably going to spook them. Before we can even get to them. 
But yeah, from this area, they would probably be easiest to see. Let me just grab the zone. This is very good for our crouch perks, though. So at least we're getting something out of it. Yep, they spooked. Never mind. We are not chasing them. <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to leave the canvassing for the drink zones with these. I don't like that because I prefer to hunt the entire day and not just drink zone times. But I think for the sensors, we're really gonna have to do this based on the, on the drink zone times. And this is part of why I don't like hunting in these mountains. <laughs> as much as I love nest pairs. The good news is, by the time we get down here, we should have reached the uh, drinking time for sheep. So we should have the black bighorn sheep at the lake or at the river, where they will be easier to shoot. Because it is going to take us still a few minutes to get there. And like I said before, one real life minute equals four in-game minutes, so it's going to take a while. It's probably going to be around 10.30 in-game when we get there. Here we go, we played a game of rock or goat. These are all rocks. But in these mountains, you always have to double check. I keep moving. I'm gonna pick up this other feeding zone since we're already going there. And we can't exactly shortcut through there anyway. This should still be the elk zone because they also have pretty big feeding zones. Yeah. Knew it. This is a nice open area for us, so this would be neat to hunt. If you're coming from this side. If you're coming from the other side, then it's going to be a pain. Any mountain goats anywhere? No? Too bad. Up there? No. Today on your favorite game show in Way of the Hunter, Rock or Goat, where we look at every white glimmering thing in the distance to examine whether it is a goat or a rock. Nine times out of ten, your guess will be wrong.
Uh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. Okay. Now, I have previously tried to climb this mountain and just go over this ridge towards the objective. I do not recommend that. <laughs> you can do it if you're very careful, but more likely you're going to die. you're going to fall and knock yourself unconscious. So don't do that. As much as it hurts, just go around the mountain. <laughs> it's a lot safer. Even if it takes a bit longer. And yeah, we're already past 10 a.m. So all of the herds should now be slowly en route towards their drinking zones. At least the tier 5 herbivores anyway. Anything here? No. All right, uh, we're getting pretty close to the other herd that we definitely need to check out, which is the one with the black sheep. So we're just gonna go until we reach the road. And then we're gonna turn towards our sheep. Oh, there's a neat zone here. What's that? It looks like predator feeding zone. Yeah. Grey wolf eating often. Makes sense. Anything over here? No. All right. I think we're good to go and turn towards the um and turn towards our animals now. Uh, we are getting close to the drinking time though, so we're gonna double check that we're looking for them for the drinking time. Oh, it's really tough to see what with this yellow overlay. Deactivate that for a moment. Um, so just around here, I think should be the first one. And the other one is over here. Okay, we can do this. I hope they are not at the river drinking zone or moving towards the river drinking zone because that one is a lot harder to canvas than the lake. The lake is a lot easier and that's where they are usually going but you never know for sure. And there's also a herd of mountain goat somewhere in here. There we go. Right on cue, how are you doing? Where exactly are you? I need like three of you for a mission. Back again with our edition of Rock or Goat. This time we have confirmed goat presence. Somewhere. Nearby. Oh, they are very well hidden by the trees. I'm not sure if I even want to work with that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I even want to bother with that, honestly. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster. I 
I reckon. That's the cables maps. I reckon they are that same group of, oh no, there's actually two groups of mountain goats. Yeah, but they are this one and they're either coming towards the drinking zone here or coming towards the drinking zone there. It sounds so deceptively close, 120 meters, but then you realize there's a hill between us and suddenly 120 meters doesn't sound so great anymore. I guess 120 meters as the crow flies and God knows how far that crow is going to fly. But I'm not a crow. I have to account for terrain and stuff like that. So I think we'd be better off just making our way towards these drinking zones. And then hoping we can get the black bighorn sheep and maybe get a gold barber there. We don't have any bighorn sheep nearby. Which is a good start. Yeah, you guys can keep on Mang. It's fine. I don't need you right now. But I'll come back to you in like 10 minutes. Yeah, there are no big horn sheep over here. Pretty sure we would have seen or heard them by now. So let's make our way towards this hunting stand. Maybe we can pick up some neat zones along the way. Yeah, they are way back now. I think they are actually going towards the uh, far drinking zone. Otherwise they would have come closer already. Go to this side of the river because that's where we need to be anyway. If we are lucky, we might be able to intercept the goats on the way to the drinking zone. For I doubt it. Okay, that's bighorn sheep. Are you actually, do you have an eating zone down there? You do. Okay. Um, yeah, then we gotta be really careful that we don't spook them. So they're coming from the southern drinking zone towards the, uh, no, the southern eating zone to this drinking zone, I guess. I don't see the goats anywhere, so I guess they are still on the move. But I'm really not too worried about the goats right now. The ones that I'm worried about are the big horn sheep. Because those are the ones that I actually have to hunt.
If we can get up to the um, hunting stand, it will conceal our scent from them, which is good. Because right now the wind is basically blowing our scent right into their noses. Yeah. There they are. And I think I already see the black one. Um, he's pretty easy to spot because he is significantly darker than the others. Like a lot darker. You cannot miss him basically. I think that's him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's him. He's over there. Now we just need to actually get close enough, which is going to be tricky. Because again, we do have the wind not exactly helping us out right now. And we are already pretty close to them. Yeah, there he is. That's the big one. The one that we need. I think they're gonna try to cross over here. So if we can get him there, that would be nice. It might actually be best if we just wait for them here. Oh no, they're turning away again. It's because of my scent, isn't it? Yeah, fuck. This is going to suck. I am going to try to make it to that hunting stand for. Because if we can get into the stand, then that will take care of our scent, basically. Of course, there's also the problem that going up into the stand actually makes more uh, going up into the stand makes more noise than sneaking. So we might spook them by going into the, or we might just spook them before we go into the stand. That is also entirely possible. Where are you running off to? Oh, you're running off over there. That's actually pretty good. That's actually not too bad. I don't mind if you run off over there. Let's get into the stand. This could have been a lot worse, honestly. So they ran off into this direction, roughly. Now the question is, are they going to come back to their drinking zone? In theory, they should, because it's still well within their drinking time. Let me actually try something. This is a bit of a little cheaty trick. We're going to uh, go to the main menu. Just exit the game and reload into it and see if they are in their spooked location or if they are in their actual supposed to be drinking location. A 
let's have a look going to have to wait for a moment for everything to load in If we cannot get them right now, then that's the first thing we're going to do tomorrow. Because it's already pretty late over here and I have to get up early tomorrow. So I can't do much overtime streaming today. Oh, I think they're still over there. They're still where they spooked off too. Mm, that actually kind of sucks. Unless I have to leave this place for a little bit to get to get them to spawn back in here, but I don't really want to risk that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab the need zones for these guys. Just the need zones that are around this lake. And then we're going to call it quits. We're going to go somewhere else for the beginning of our bighorn sheep canvassing round. And then we're going to come back here about two in-game hours later to get the big, uh, to get the black bighorn sheep. Because that way we'll be able to do something useful while making sure that the herd is actually in the right place and not wherever they ran off to when they spooked. But that's going to have to wait until tomorrow because like I said, I have to get up early tomorrow and uh, so I can't do I can't do much overtime here today. Tomorrow the stream is going to start probably around half an hour to an hour late because I'll be out of town for most of the day. And I do plan to be back on a reasonable time, but that all depends on how public transit is going. So expect me to be here sometime between 7.30 and 8 p.m. most likely. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter stream tomorrow, but there will be a stream. For now, we're just going to finish grabbing these. Yep, this is where the bighorn sheep will be drinking. Alright. I think we're pretty much done. So we're going to start the canvassing for the other sheep. Probably over here, because we know at this lake we have one drinking zone over here. I'm not entirely sure where the other drinking zone for that herd is. But at least we know we can uh, we can fi most likely find them over here. Uh, and we can just go and check out a few herds that are in these mountain areas. In Heat Devil and uh, Sheep Eater Ridge. Until we unlock this, where we actually have most of the really stacked Mountain gods, but that's gonna and be conchy, but that's gonna be tomorrow. So until then, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had some fun, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye bye.